There's no place like home, and Sporting Kansas City finally have a home they can call their own Livestrong Sporting Park. It's quite simply stunning, and it gets its official unveiling tonight. 16 months in the making, $200 million in the making, no detail overlooked. The fans have been waiting a long, long time here in Kansas City to welcome you into our Adidas Game of the Week. It's Sporting Kansas City against the Chicago Fire. Club is in his second match as the interim head coach, staying with a 4-4-2. One of the changes, though, is Diego Chavez has dropped off of the starting 11. Patrick Niarco can be an option off the bench with pace. But Peter Vermes is side in a 4-3-3. Rob will be the attacking midfielder, the designated player from Mexico. Bunbury up front, the U.S. international, and Ryan Smith. So a lot of attack here. But We're all ready for action. We're not in Arrowhead anymore. Community Arena Ballpark. It's just down the road, but it feels a million miles away. Kickoff in Kansas City to a cacophony of noise. And Livestrong Park comes alive. Myers trying to whip it on goal, but his effort blocked. The breakout is on Cuesta leaving it, and this is a real opportunity for the fire to do some damage. Ferrari forced to check back. The ball not precise enough. Uh, slice shot may work out to their advantage. It's Bone. Corbin Bone! And Jimmy Nielsen comes up with the first big save at Livestrong Sporting Park. Well, it was a great save, and it needed to be. Away by Colin to Chance Myers. Sharp turn as well by Kamara. Good service. It's open. Surely this is it. But the offside flag is going to deny a very special moment. Graham Zusi thought he'd scored the first goal at Livestrong Sporting Park, but that man thought otherwise. You see, Kai Kamara was in a position very wide. He played an early ball across, and the target was Omar Bravo. And here's the lead play, and they're saying Bravo was offside at this point. And it runs through. Bravo completely misses that ball. Susie was not offside, but they're saying that he interfered with the play. Right. That's what happened. Lovely touch inside for Bunbury. Long crack on goal, and Sean Johnson was very worried indeed. Zuzi letting rip. Oh, he's frozen there, Sean Johnson, and, and for one reason, Graves Susie, unexpected, running away from goal in an angle. Great strike, though, from distance, wasn't far away. University of Maryland player. He's done that before. He always played like almost like a second striker sometimes under Sarovsky, the head coach there at Maryland. Frankie Klopas is a fan and he is playing. Dom Dominic Aduro. And a tease his way through it. Blakes instead for Ristich. Hanging cross and the header on goal it was a decent one from the Zavi to Jimmy Nielsen. Had to sprawl away to his right to keep it out. It was a very good ball here. No pressure on the ball. He picks out Nazari just in between two players. Jimmy Nielsen could not hesitate for a second. You've got to be able to move together. There's a great ball. Oh, Nielsen is out. Oh, he's used his hands, and that is going to be big trouble for Jimmy Nielsen, and he knows it. He knows it. it's got to be a red card. He just stopped the goal-scoring opportunity. Head in his hands. He knows Has the fate be. that awaits him. The red card is already out in the hands of Michael Kennedy. Nielsen denying a goal-scoring opportunity to Dominic Aduro. And Peter Vermees has seen his side be reduced to 10 men. Well, tactically now he's got to make a quick decision. Kronberg comes in. Got a clean sheet last week. There's a great ball over the top. Aduro with his pace just gets in behind. And a bit of skill there. Jimmy Nielsen, he knew just afterwards. It was kind of an, an instinct, like a reaction, and it was... I mean, as a veteran goalkeeper, though, he should know where he is on the on the field. He's outside the 18. He's already committed that. It's Palladini. He's going to go for goal. Oh, Grobar has spilled it. Oh, and back off the bar. The woodwork to the rescue for KC after Kronberg's error. What an opportunity for the fire. Ibrahim Diop 
Senegalese striker is on. And a chance here perhaps for Omar Bravo. Oh, he's upended. Oh, and Michael Kennedy is not interested. Well, a controversial decision perhaps. Bravo is still down. Ristich. Bad ball play by Ristich. Chavez wasn't even showing for it. Sakong is all on his own and surrounded. He's done well to keep it away. Done very well, CJ Sapong. Crowd love that. And then it's rather spoiled by a giveaway. And Colin colliding there with Niaka, who seemed to be on his way. Yeah, it's going to be a card, actually. He clipped him down from behind. The giveaway from Sporting Kansas City. It's a waste, really, because there was so much great work done there by CJ Sapong. Look at this, surrounded by the red. One, two, three, four, he cuts in between them all. Very good job, great responsibility from a young player coming into the league. Well, do you take this if you're Peter Vermees in Sporting KC, John? Well, you kind of have to under the circumstances. Jimmy Nielsen making that decision, coming out with the handball just outside the 18. He gets sent off. They have to sacrifice. They take another player off. They're a man down at home. Not the start they wanted. They're looking to build on things for big pictures throughout the season. Well, it is uh, a goalless draw here to open up Livestrong Sporting Park. The winless streaks go on for both Sporting Kansas City and the Chicago Fire.